Okay, Legacy Flat Roof and Sheet Metal, good morning. We're here today in Woodstock, Ontario. We're doing a flat roof. This is, old, this is an older Victoria style home with a really high flat roof. We're about two, two and a half stories up. So safety is important. This is the details we're looking at. We have uh, older flat roof. The homeowner or maybe some contractors have tried to repair the seams. Uh, we have about 12 to 14 inch flashings. So we've got to do that and tie it in with the mansard shingles underneath. So. There we go. It's a pretty simple roof. Again, safety is important and um, how we do the detailing. So I'll show you. They put some kind of sealant along the seams just to kind of slow down the slow down the leaks. They have had some leaks and he's, the homeowner said it worked for about a year or so, but now it's starting to degrade. So you can actually see you can peel it up. So water's a problem. We're going to fix it up, show you guys what it looks like later. Thank you. Okay, Legacy Flat Roofing and Sheet Metal. Just finished the substrate, I'll show you what it looks like. That is the primed new SOPA board. You can see the fasteners in there, we just screwed it down. So all that is, that's a 1 8 inch SOPA board. We screwed it down, gives the new substrate for the roof. So we're gonna start putting some base sheet, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, welcome back. I'm just, I've just come off the roof. I'm waiting for the elastical stick to finish priming. That's the primer that we're gonna use to adhere the base sheet down. I just wanna show you what the roof looks like, the kind of makeup of the house. So it's just an older style, larger flat roof on a residential home. So I just want to show you. Thanks. Okay, welcome back. We're uh, we're pretty much 67% of the way. We were able to finish doing the soper board, give it a new substrate, uh, put primer on the soper board. What you're looking at now, it's a new base sheet. So this is basically most of your waterproof membrane. We still have another cap sheet to put on. We also gave the client a new flashing around. You can see it here. I'm not going to get to the edge, but you can see it. New flashing going around the roof. Cleans it up nice, also from the bottom, it gives a nice finished look. So there we go. The red stuff you see, that's primer. That's applied on top of the base sheet to basically get the adhesive ready for the capture. So to so show you what it looks like when we're done, we got one more step. I'll show you what it looks like later. Thanks. Okay, legacy flat roof and sheet metal. We just finished the job. The job turned out wonderful. I think the client's gonna be thrilled. It looks really nice. Is that what's what's good about this job is it has a structural slope. So truly this uh, flat roof shouldn't hold any water at all. And most importantly, it's going to stop his leaks. He was having water coming through the ceiling and into the light fixtures. So obviously that was a concern for him. Go ahead, take a look. Okay, pretty simple details. We had a basically flat roof with cut edge details around the side. So legacy flat roof and sheet metal. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. If you're in the southwestern Ontario area, give us a call or you can find us online at legacyroofs.com. Thank you so much.